Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hydroneer. And yes, as you can tell, I'm doing a little bit of shopping today. Uh, I want to do a little bit of a, sort of a changeover on the system today. Um, I'm actually going to use an idea I saw in the Discord community. I don't know if it was originally this person that had this idea, or if they saw it from somebody else, but I'm going to give them a credit for it. And it is uh, Jordan Swallow. And basically, uh, what I'll do is I'll show you when we get back to the, the claim here. Okay, here we are. And as you can see, I uh, cleaned up a little bit around here. I actually ran, went around with the truck and I picked up all the dirt chunks, threw them into the back here. Uh, uh, there must have been at least 300 of them because it, I manually put it into one of the harvesters and I probably spent a good 45 minutes. And surprisingly, with 300 dirt clumps in the back of this truck, it ran fine. I was getting no lag from it whatsoever. Uh, but things are a little bit better around here, so that is good. But here's the idea that uh, I can actually show you here that I saw. Now, what they did is they originally had two of them. But what they did is because uh, they were having issues with uh, the nuggets getting stuck on the side of the conveyor. And so what they did is they ended up putting... Now, that one's uh, still nailed down. Uh, do I have a free one here? Yes, I do. Now, I figured it out. I actually have to put the conveyor in afterwards. But if you put the conveyor in like so, what happens is it creates a bit of a slope. So when the nuggets or dirt clumps get on there, they actually stay in the belt area instead of going off to the side. And I'm going to go with this idea. Originally, I was going to try to use windows, but I'd have to have a window down below and a window up top because this isn't a full block height. Uh, I am sort of thinking of going an X because that's what they did is they had two of them one going each way now I don't really need that for this system because I haven't had that an issue with it actually I gotta <laughs> build a better floor here uh, it's only been sticking on this side I haven't had an issue with this because I'm not throwing big chunks in here all the time so I'm not really getting all the big spray uh, so this is what I'm gonna do and I've already done one here uh, it's a little dark I'll bring the day up in a second here uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to do that, and now I won't have any blockages here. And I have a feeling the reason why I'm getting stuff stuck in the conveyors is because it's getting up to the corner here and maybe getting in here. But if it stays in the center, then it should be okay. And then when it gets up to this section, which I'm actually going to double up, and I'll explain that later, uh, I'm actually going to go in the, the cross, the two, two pieces. And that way, just to make sure everything goes in straight in the sorters to keep... Uh, Stuff from collecting the site, because all this came out of there. And this is after clean out. There wasn't as much in there as usual, but this is all the stuff that gets caught on the site, and you can see by the shards glowing. So anyways, uh, let me uh, go take a nap, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just cleaning up here, and I'm getting an extreme amount of light, and I have a feeling I have a lot of stuff stuck underneath here, so what we're going to do... Except besides that dirt flying. We're going to actually pull these up and see how much there's actually in here. I have a feeling there's more than what it looks like. And I just drop that there and there's a nugget there. That up top for now. Nothing there. Look at that. And that's where your lag comes from. Now hopefully, you know, as long as I can keep it from the edge here, it'll keep it away. So I'm gonna pull all this up, clean this up, and uh I'll smelt all this stuff up and just do a batch and we'll see how much gold we get out of it. And then I'll also show you what, what I got out of all the, the dirt that I cleaned up around here. I was actually quite impressed with that. Okay, I'm just putting the last conveyors in now. Uh, I have noticed a bug with these ones. Uh, I might bring this up to max. Uh, I haven't really gotten uh, caught on camera, but uh, I noticed that when you pick up the conveyors, if there's actually nuggets or gems stuck inside them, that... When you place them again, they'll still stay stuck inside. I actually have a couple of these that have stuff permanently stuck in them. Uh, I can show you with the magnet. Let me put the rest of them back in. But uh, there was nothing on this ledge. When I put these up here, I took them all out. I put them up on top of the wall here. And then uh, I was cleaning up the nuggets, and I was hearing, like, a whole bunch of rattling, and it was coming from the conveyors. And, you know, I spaced them out, did, like, a checkerboard pattern so I could try to get everything out with the, the magnet. Needless to say, I hit a valve on one of these conveyors, so I had to fix that when I get this set up. But I was trying to get stuff out, and I couldn't get it all out. But as you can see, there's more here. Uh, so, yeah, uh, what I want to do is just... As soon as I get the rest, the last couple ones in here, I actually want to go through with the magnet on this side. This side, or 
I honestly don't know. I think it's the other side. But one of these sides have conveyor. Why do I have an extra one? Oh. Uh, that's a block. That's my bad. Uh, where did I put that magnet now? Uh, I don't know. Let me let me find it. As soon as I stop recording, I look behind me, and there it is. All right. So let's see what we got here. I'm not hearing anything. There. That's that. I don't care about that. So it's definitely on the other side. I'm running here, one of these conveyors have got some stuff stuck in it. It's one of these ones. Maybe that's uh, the pile that came out, because I was trying so hard with the mic to get it out, but that didn't work. So that's good, I'm not going to lock them down yet. Oh yeah, that's those gems there. Uh, until I figure out which conveyor I gotta fix. But, uh, let's go see what we have, just what was in the conveyor. Now, this bar here... This gold bar came from all the dirt, and I went through everything, cleared all that up. I thought I saw an eclipse there for a moment, but that was a cloud. But yeah, I went through here, grabbed every single dirt chunk, and the frame rate has been getting a little bit better. And out of that was almost nine grand in gold. Just from that. And then I tried doing a little bit of a run and got about another 36,000 out of that. Uh, before I forget, and I want to give credit to this person as well. Uh, Iron Hand had had a good idea and I wanted to try that and that was having the crucibles on a bit of a slope and so then that way they would actually they would catch the, the nuggets a little bit better. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to leave it in there but basically you just drop it in there. Uh, it doesn't quite heat up so you pull the cork out, drops in, place the cork back in. You don't just drop it like I did. Go like that and then it heats up and then because it's on an angle it would catch the nuggets a little bit better. Uh, because of the output of these sorters, it was a catastrophe, which is why I'm gonna, I'm planning on making a dual sorting line. So each each main line goes off into its own sorting line, which all, all is going to go into the same crucible. And I've already figured out how I'm going to do this. So uh, let me lock everything down here, make sure that's good to go, and then we'll start working on this section. Okay, I'm back. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to take this side off, and uh, I'm going to just get a quick idea of what I'm going to do. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this off camera. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I'm just going to throw it all together, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with the nuggets and the conveyors. Yeah, I did take a conveyor out, but there was not all those nuggets in there. As you can see, I pulled this out, and these nuggets are actually still in here. And they're not going to move until I grab a nap magnitude, which I think is all the way to the other end. Uh, but so what my idea is going to be uh, is I'm actually going to split this down the middle. We're going to have two separate walls here. Actually, I'm not going to put that yet because I need to put a T-pipe there. Uh, so these conveyors are going to end here. And then I'm going to take a short one. Uh, let's see, where's that valve? Okay. Uh, also, I was pretty sure I got that right. Yeah. If you have the valve on your side, then it's going to be going to the right. So that's actually the wrong spot. Technically, no, because there's going to be another one here here. Actually, that's going to be a vertical. Do that. I should probably clean up those nuggets. Let me clean this up for a sec. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I've uh, really thought about this. Really thought this. Uh, I'm going to go up one more with the vertical conveyors. So the, the nuggets are going to come out here, drop onto this line here, which I'm going to be using uh, the slopes. And I'm going to actually do this one a little bit differently. Uh, I think I bought about 100 of these things, so it should be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three of them on. Uh, here, wherever the, the vertical conveyor drops down, I'm going to put one there, one there, and then one there. And that should create like a little bit of a channel to go in and hopefully it should stop anything from sticking. I have a couple more here, I can give you an idea. Uh, the best thing is you can always get stuff to clip in if you're lucky enough. Sometimes you're going to be at the right angle. And somewhere around there, but you get the idea. Uh, or you could just spam click. That works. So yeah, get through that, put the conveyor in, and then uh, I'm gonna ha try I'm thinking about having them, you know, having both conveyor lines come up to a uh, one of these things, a funnel. But it's gonna be a two funnels. Now I don't, I know it's probably not necessary, but I'm gonna try to have everything to go into the 
crucibles the best I can. Uh, I know 1.3 is going to change this all, but uh, might as well try to get this to work. Uh, and hopefully this is just going to help things line up better inside the crucible and not make as much of a mess. I know it's going to be a mess. I did have to fill up quite a bit, in fact. Let's actually see what I got out of this. This is all the stuff that was laying on the floor. I'm curious to see what I got out of this. Is it going to be iron or gold? Iron, wow. Let's see how much that was. Two grand. Two grand in iron. Eh, if I picked up all the nuggets around here, it probably would have been gold and been worth about five or six thousand, but whatever. Just money. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get all this set up and then uh, bring it back when it's time to get it all up and running. Okay, I am done. I had actually went ahead and finished everything up. I had to do a bit of a change because uh, there was something I didn't realize. I don't know if I have anything in here. Probably not because I loaded up the game already. Uh, yeah, that's probably why I sound a little different, because, uh, yeah, early morning BC, uh, could be worse, let's put it that way. Anyway, uh, oh, yeah, I was going down here. Uh, so this is what I've done. Now, like I said, I was trying to do uh, Iron Hand's idea, but it wasn't really working out for me. Why did you move? Is there another nugget under there? There it is. Okay. Uh, so I've been messing around trying to get these crucibles a little bit higher, and it seems... This is the way to do it. I tried actually placing one down, but didn't really bring it up too high. And I tried three, and three was a little bit too high, but I find two isn't bad. It still gets it hot. Uh, the reason why I'm only going two instead of three, I forgot to mention, is because three high and it doesn't actually get heated up. So this is as close as I got. I got double funnels going in. And so what I've had to do is, when I originally thought about this idea, I completely forgot about the fact that the conveyors are basically the sorters are basically one way no matter what they're gonna have to come in on the left output the back and output on the right as well uh so i had to sort of loop it around what i've done is i've got this side coming up through here up into this corner here up and then drops down to here and goes to this sorting line so then i got gold iron shards gems i go over this side and then the other line goes along the back there, comes across here, it takes a little bit longer of a route. Then it comes out here, and then of course the gems come out first, then the shards, then the iron, and then the gold. And then I made these blast chambers, I guess, just to make sure, try to give everything a better chance of getting in there, and I'm hoping this works. Uh, if not, 1.3 will make things a lot better. Uh, and I think I'm ready to go. I've got my little drop basins in there. Uh, everything's good to go. I haven't hammered anything in. I haven't actually tested anything. Uh, as far as plumbing goes, it wasn't terrible. It was actually a little easier than I thought it would be. I just brought the, the line over here, brought it up to here to a T-pipe. Uh, this T-pipe feeds these two short lines here, uh, which is still being pressurized, more or less full pressure by that booster there. And it comes up to a T, goes down this way and that way. There's a booster here, which takes care of this two little two-section conveyor section and it branches off and then uh, connects to this one and it should still have more than enough pressure to keep this whole line more or less fully pressurized down here I got the same thing I got one booster here a branch here but I added this, another booster here at the end just to make sure so all that's have to do is just put some shards in there and uh, we'll see how the, the system runs so I don't know what I got here I know I've got one here like 500 or something I haven't used yet not that one and I will find it. Let's see what 66. I might actually use those ones there. That's what I'll do then. Uh, okay, so that was. Let's see here. 46. Take the saw, cut that one, and that should be it. More or less. So let me get the shards in. I'm going to do a quick repair of all the machines. We'll do a dry run to check the conveyors. I'll probably quick, quickly hammer everything in that I can, and then we'll go to test run. Okay, I'm back. I am done. I am just, as you can see, flipping on the, the RAM drills right now. I'm not going to run them yet, uh, just because I want to make sure the conveyor system is running. Uh, there's a bit of a dirt blockage on that one machine there. I think it was because that harvester needed it to be repaired, but it'll be a good test of the system to make sure it's all up and running. Uh, everything is on. Everything is pressurized. So, go ahead hit the first one here. I do have the game sounds turned down, so it's hopefully a little bit not as loud. Now, let's go check the conveyor first. And it's this one, okay. Uh, oh. Uh, let's 
see if I can... There we go. Can't actually hear it, but I did change it. But I find it sort of squeeze between the harvesters here. Alright. Was it not that one? I guess not. Uh, oh, hang on. I gotta find out which conveyor it is. <laughs> that works taking getting away with me. Okay, I got it. So, uh, it's running. Uh, this is good here. Let me go up here. I forgot to plug something. I'll fix that in a second here. I just want to make sure all the conveyor lines are running. So we go over here. We go here. That's actually the wrong way. Uh, yeah, because I forgot to put my, my little catch basin in. Okay, there we go. That's where that water is coming from. Uh, nah, get in there. Might be easier if I was down below. Yeah, I think so. Oh, water leak fixed. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's going up, that's going up, that's good, it's going up here. Outputting, going along, outputting, going along, outputting, going along, and outputting. And then whatever dirt goes through there. And the other line works. And there we go down here, and that works. We go down here, and that works. And that's going, and that's going. And, ooh, these seem to be good. So now, uh, where's my magnet? Uh... I know I didn't put it away. I'm not <laughs> not that energetic. Where is it? Uh, if I was a magnet on a stick, where would I be? Oh yeah, clips of the dirt to sit at the bedrock right now. Uh, it's a pickaxe. Uh, oh, I put it away. Of course, believe it or not, this is the one tool I actually lose. I haven't. I don't think I've lost anything else. I think I've lost one hammer, but that was about it. But anyways, let's go uh, deal with this dirt blockage here. And, uh, any loose nuggets that we have laying around? Alright. Let's see how that does. And all I'm doing is just pulling the dirt over to the other hoppers here, or funnels. And I have a conveyor going backwards. Where are you going? Weird. And I got a little bit of physics act up. And of course it's the one I walked into place. Anyway, let me work this out and I'll be live. Okay, everything is good to go. Uh, the only thing that worries me though is uh, I'm starting to hear that uh, banging around noise when stuff hits those plates down there, so I might have to take those out. Anyway, uh... Not as good as time as any, actually, uh... I think I'm gonna... Nah, we're just gonna go for it. Alright, everything should be good to go. Let's, uh, let's cause some lag. I actually wanna keep... Keep an eye on that collection area. Let's see how well things get collected. Or strewn across... Strewn across the place. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. And stuff should be reaching here pretty quick. Here, traveling above us. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I'm going to have pressure problems here. And here comes the lag, and where's the nuggets? Uh, that worries me. Uh, uh oh. Mm. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. So I'm gonna have to take those out. See if I could do it like this. Yoink. Just go ahead and place you down. And let that lag build. Okay, I gotta shut this off. Do not adjust your internet. The lag you're experiencing is real.
Yes, I am the king of lag. Okay, I'm back. I think I've got close to about an hour in this thing. Uh, I think this is a mess down here. I don't know what happened over here. Uh, needless to say, I think I might have to start boxing this stuff off too, just to make sure everything goes in, but that's not going to stop this down here. So I got to go and clean with all these nuggets up and see what we got. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Maybe it's a little bit bigger of a bar than last time, but let's find out. Okay, I'm officially back. I have suffered a lot of lag trying to clean this place up. I need to say there's still a lot around. And I've noticed too, these haven't been working the greatest. So uh, maybe I'll have to try with the window idea or uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, yeah, there has been a lot of lag. A lot of work, and I'm hoping this is going to be a good bar. Well, it's certainly not going to be 20 bucks. We know that. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, was the lag worth it? Uh, probably not. 100 grand, that was it. Hm. Yeah, the lag kind of kicked in, and when the lag kicks in, things tend to slow down considerably. So, yeah, this wasn't what I was hoping for. Let's see what this one does. 20 grand. It seems a lot less than it should have been. Yeah, I know I'd always have issues with too many, all well, too many men on the field. And, uh, uh, the entities, when they're trying to move, it creates a lot of problems. I bet you... I think this had a lot to do with it too. That's why I was probably getting all the scattering coming from the sorters here. Uh, needless to say, there's probably not much I could really do about that. I'd probably end up on the edge or whatever. But it was worth a shot. It was worth the lag, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm going to call this one here. Uh, I think next one I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just hold off until the next update comes out until we get the better funnels and the new smelter, which is going to make so much easier but anyways thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget don't forget to leave me a like i'm sorry about that and i'll see you in the next one later